Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Glad to have you here. Uh, today is part three of the 2023 LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar. Uh, we've done numbers one through nine already. We're going to start off on ten. I've already opened up the, the five that I'm doing today. Uh, they're up at the top though, so you're not going to be able to see what they are until I pull them down. Uh, we're going to start off here with number ten. This is... Hailfire Droid. I've always really liked all the stuff they made for the prequels, like all the the ships and a bunch of the droids. It was always designs are really really cool, and I feel like they're criminally underutilized. Because you see them, I mean, this, I don't know, not even the second half, it's like the last quarter of episode two, when you actually get to see, you know, when the clones come in and stuff like that, and then you hardly see any of it in the third one. Um, but I mean, Star Wars is more of a, a space opera than a war series. Um, <clears throat> and then, you know, you do have the Clone Wars series, which does go and, you know, build off of all of that. And it's always been really good, good content in there, but I feel like you don't get that many times where you see the Hailfire droid. And it's such a unique design. And there's actually a project I've been working on. Well, not working on, but I had been working on for a little while. Where I was trying to take two sets and combine them together into basically a Hailfire droid design. Um, and I kind of ran into a, a big hurdle because I was running out of usable parts to get them to stay together. And I just kind of left it there, but man, that is, that is adorable. And like you get, you get the whole hailfire look out of that. That's really, really well done. You got the, the wheels. You even have a little, uh, little visor, not visor, but the, uh, the eyes it has, and then you got your rocket pods. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, that was number 10. We're going to go to this one. Number 11, this is... Oh, hey! Some more Separatist stuff. This is the ATT in blue, which is... <clears throat> Um, I mean, you see it in tan in the first movie. And oh, it's a dark blue. I really hate using dark blue. Instructions are always pretty awful, but you got this part here for the bottom, for like kind of the underglow. And then they're using this part here. This part is really old, and they keep finding uses for it, and it's really great because it's an old design that they has a bunch of longevity to it. <coughs> I think I mentioned in the last one when I did the step, like, I've been using that part since I was a little kid. Ah, the dark blue is always hard to tell. The uh, the worst culprit for the dark blue was um, R two D two. The buildable R two D two was just a nightmare when you got to all the dark blue pieces because it's like whole layers of it are all the same color and it's all dark. And you cannot see the difference between the pieces. 
except for they have a red outline on the new ones. And then it's so easy to lose track of where you are while you're building it. And it's so just frustrating. And then one they did recently, I haven't done a video on it. I'm, I'm going to be doing it soon. Probably the next after this one is the, uh, the Vespa. I think it was the 75 year anniversary or something like that. The Vespa this past year and um, it's a really nice build don't get me wrong it is fun except you've got the seat and I think the back panel or something <coughs> pardon me that's all in dark blue and man it's actually easier to use black bricks and see what's going on than it is to use dark blue that's something that Lego really needs to take a look into, you know? Is this done? I think this is... Yeah, it looks like it. It's it's cute. It gets the point across. You can tell that it's supposed to be... What is, oh, no, I missed a step. Got to put the barrel on. All right, there we go. Now it's done. I always like these tanks. They're a nice design. Little, little There's a couple of uh, play sets of this in the blue. I'm pretty sure it was either beginning of this year or late last year where we had um, the, oh, pardon me, Ahsoka with the, um, her... Is it Squadron? I think it's her Squadron. Um, where they had the, the blue ATT. It's a very nice set. It was, I think it was only like 30 maybe $40. And uh, that's not the first one they did for the blue ATT. I think they've had two, including that one, which I believe I have both. If I look back here. Yeah. I have two of the blue ones. I don't have, <coughs> excuse me, I don't have the original gray one from the Phantom Menace. What, I didn't even look at the panel here. This is, oh, this is something special. <laughs> I think I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned actually, uh, that they often have in these advent calendars gonk droids that you can build. Sometimes they're dressed as presents. Sometimes they're dressed, I think they have one that's dressed like Santa Claus. But this one here, this is something cute. And then we go with that there. Jumper plate, ingot. That little, little guy there. Is that supposed to? That's supposed to be on that. Hold on a second. No, that is not where that goes. I am silly. Put that there. This goes up on the front. And here, here, that goes there. I think that's supposed to be like a little tail block. Two by two modified. Little feet came off. It's one thing, you know, sometimes you, with these little builds, you end up getting them like one stud keeping them on and it gets a little bit frail, a little fragile, things pop off. Is here we have, where are these supposed to go? Did I goof? I 
I did did a little bit of goof there. And that goes there. And that goes here. And then we have a little reindeer gunk droid. That is something special right there. I tell you what. It's got a little tail. It's got antlers. It's got a little nose. They use the uh, little brown ingot piece for the eyes. That is just fantastic. That is adorable. And that over there. Um, I think last year's was the, uh, the, the present gonk. I think it was green, the red bow. 12, 13. We got two more to go. This is, ah, Imperial Shuttle. This one, I don't think I have. No, I do have a Shuttle Tidarium. They've made so many of them that I've only gotten one of them, so I always think, do I have that? There's so many of them. We're going with that. Now, I've always really enjoyed the Shuttles that they've made. Um, I want to say that the Republic Attack Shuttle, which is my favorite one, uh, I, I want to say that that one is the one that really gave me an appreciation. Oh, look, there's that one by one by two. Again, good uses for that. A nice flush panel. Um, but yeah, the uh, Republic Attack Shuttle. That's the one that really got me to enjoy the shuttle builds. I will eventually do a video on that one. Am I doing this right? I don't know. I'm putting that one there. You gotta pay attention. Uh, I will do a video on that attack shuttle, and I'll be very enthusiastic about it. Um, there was I actually had an opportunity to get another copy of that attack shuttle recently. Well, my local uh, retro game stores, they also sell a bunch of stuff on eBay, and one of them was a almost complete uh, copy of the, uh, the attack shuttle. And <clears throat> I, was, I was really thinking about it, but it had a couple of pieces that were broken, because, you know, that dark red is notorious for being brittle. And I was like, you know, I don't, don't really need it. I already have one. One is good enough. Um, so I didn't get it. But I do have a mock that I made years ago where I had the front of... the the mock I made like the shuttle part not the shuttle the, the cockpit uh modeled after the public sh uh attack shuttle was because it's just that front is just so good and uh I used Anakin Starfighter and uh Grievous's Starfighter most of the pieces came from those two sets and uh I'll make a video on that one as well at some point but I just, I love the front of that attack shuttle so much. And then here we are. We've got the Shuttle Tidarium, which is a pretty, uh, pretty faithful little version of it. I do think this uh, dorsal wing is a bit big, but you're, they are limited by the sizes of the pieces they have. But I love when they can incorporate these little play features because the wings fold up. It's great. You got this little part here to keep the front from going down too far. This is this is great. This is a very classic feel to it. It's good. Put that guy down there. And that was uh, 13. We got we only got one more, guys. Let's see what this is. This is ah. Here we go. Number two out of our little picture here. It is Endor Leia. She, she has a cookie, because if I remember correctly, she was eating um, 
some field rations in the movie, and that's when she meets Wicket. So they gave her this little, uh, she got the dual faces here. She got that little snarky face. And her hair, the Endor Leia hair, little buns there. And a little pistol. And it comes with an extra little one, which is great because <clears throat> these little ones are, aren't in a lot of stuff. They're always nice to have some of these. A lot of like officers and stuff have them. And then uh, you give her a little cookie. Look at that little cookie. That's good. Yeah, I didn't have a uh, a rebel, not rebel, uh, an Endor Leia. I don't, I don't know what else these come with because I think the uh, the Endor Ewok Village that has her in the Ewok Village attire with the long hair down and in the dress. I don't, I don't know off the top of my head if any sets actually come with Endor outfit Leia. Um, yeah, so that's, that was 10 through 14. Uh, that's all the five for today. We're going to come back in another five days <clears throat> for, uh, part four. And then there's only going to be another five after that. So, uh, it's going to be five part series and, uh, then we're going to be hitting Christmas. Um, this is being put out like a day or two late, not the 14th, um, filming this on my weekend because work has been really hectic lately so haven't been able to come home and crank out a video uh, but we're going to try to get it as uh, consistent as we can so if you like the video let me know in the comments like the button dropped a cookie over here and i am all over the place with my words <laughs> uh, with that i'll see you guys next time see ya